Hi, second grade. This is lesson five for your math this week. Um, we're still working with bar graphs, but today it gets a little more intense because you're going to do some word problems um, using bar graphs to solve. So you won't really necessarily have to create too much like you've been doing in the past, but you're still going to be answering a lot of questions. Okay, so let's look at your read, draw, write. It says, Rita has 19 more pennies than Carlos. Rita has 27 pennies. How many pennies does Carlos have? So let's draw a picture. So the first thing I want you guys to do is let's do a tape diagram, please. So we gotta put R for Rita. And Rita has how many pennies total? The problem told you, 27. Let's put a C for Carlos, please. Now we're trying to figure out how many pennies does Carlos have? We don't know, so I'm gonna put a box with a question mark. So to find out how many pennies that Carlos has, we need this number right here, and the problem gave it to us. It told us that Rita has 19 more pennies, so we get that number. Now we can use this information to solve for the question mark. So is this gonna be addition or subtraction? That's the first thing you gotta ask yourself. Subtraction. You're gonna take 27, take away 19. And what is that answer? Eight. So for your sentence on the back, you're gonna write, Carlos has eight pennies. Awesome, and you guys can copy that down. You can always pause the videos too if you need to. Okay, so then I'm not gonna write much on the board for the lesson today. I think we just need to take a look real quick together at the actual homework, or not the homework. There's, so there's activity sheets that come today. If we were in class together, you guys would be in groups and you would just be working on this together in groups. So up here at the top is all your directions. Use the table to complete the bar graph. Here's your table, pennies saved. You need to go and fill in your bar graph, just like we've been working on, and then answer these questions. Same thing. Okay, a group, it says at the top. A group of friends counted their nickels. Use the table to complete the bar graph, then answer the following questions. Cool. This is your table. You have to make a bar graph, and then answer the questions. It's what we've been doing the last uh, five lessons, or four lessons. Now over here, this one gets a little tricky. It says design a survey and collect the data. So one idea I was thinking, let me take a look. Um, you, could, you could go around and ask your family what their favorite color is. So you might put up here, favorite colors. That's the title of your table and you would put maybe, give them options, blue, green, yellow, and red. And then go ask family members or text friends or whatever, decide how many people you wanna ask, and then put right here, count. How many people liked blue the best? How many people liked yellow? How many people liked red? How many people liked green? So then once you get your data, and you don't have to do favorite colors, you can do whatever you want. It's, it's you're gonna design your own survey. Then when you get your favorite colors in your data, you can come down here and then put it in your bar graph. And then go up and it says, write questions based on the graph and then let students use your graphs to answer them. Well, since we're not around other students, maybe you can give your bar graphs to mom, dad, brother, sister, aunt, uncle, whoever you guys are staying at home with, and let them see if they can answer the questions. So one of your questions might be, who, um, which color had the most votes? They'd go down here, they'd look at your graph, and they could answer that question. So make sure you're writing questions that they would be able to answer. Okay, so then for your problem set, the exact same thing. You have, okay, you have some, a bar graph, you got a number of dimes up here with some kids' names, you gotta put the information on your graph, and then answer the questions. Same thing number of dimes donated, there's your information that you need to make your bar graph. Go down here and make your bar graph, sorry. And then answer your questions at the bottom. 
And then for, and then that's just your exit ticket. So keep doing the same thing. You got your bar graph, make your bar graph, answer your questions. All right.